mean? We back at it again. We keep it real, but we keep it ratchet at the same time. So we back again. And, uh, you know, we just here to have some good conversation. We got a couple of extra extra faces in the room, in the background. They going to chime in on the conversation, you know what I'm saying? We going to try to get them to chime in, chime in you know what I'm saying? Uh, one of them seems a little more reserved, but any other time they may be talking like a motherfucker. But it's cool. We going to see how it all play out, though. Anyway, you know what I'm saying? I've been good on my end for the most part. I'm super happy that it's Friday. I had a shitty, shitty day. Yeah, I mean, uh, at least it wasn't raining. Huh? At least it wasn't raining. Yeah, but it was. I would have took the rain over what my day uh -huh. consisted of. Okay, I mean, I mean, like, like I ain't even tell you, like, literally, I got to work. My defrost wasn't working in my truck. <laughs> they spent an hour trying to fix the defrost. <laughs> Realized they couldn't fix the defrost. Put me in another truck. Literally, uh -huh. the second to the second raggliest truck that they have. I mean, there's only one that's worse, of course. Before I could get off the yard, it broke down. Uh, so they spent another hour fixing that uh, truck. Then after I went and picked up my first load so and I came back you. and got eight cans on my second load, uh -huh. the back of the truck popped open in an apartment complex. Yeah. Oh, with all the trash With the trash around? on it. But it didn't uh -huh. pop all the way open, so I kind of closed it back. And I drove across the city with trash hanging out the back. But none of the trash came out, but it was trash just everywhere. Well, cool. hey, I didn't get pulled over. I made it to the dump site. He's so. trash robbers at that guy. It is. I, mean, fuck, I ain't from here. No, I'm just playing. I love to see it. <laughs> <laughs> you that one. You just not about to do that. Yeah, I mean, but uh, yeah, man, you talk about a, a day. I think this was probably top three in my worst days of 2021. Oh, that's too far. Huh? 20, I can't say the whole 2021. It's no, only I been two months. Yeah, but I done had some crazy shit come over there. But we talking know. about, you said today. Yeah, today was like top three out of the whole year so far. You know what I'm saying? But I've been through some things emotionally this year, so that's why I would say that. But we here today, though. What's going on with you, though, White Side? What's happening? Uh, my day was fine. I did not have none of that. None of that. Um, yeah, I did nothing. I did, I did some things. Anytime you don't do shit, it's a good day. Ain't it? Yeah, I did nothing today. I went to lunch. Went to lunch. And, uh, that was pretty much my whole day. Then you say you went to, what, Jamaican spot? Mm-mm. I went to, um, Korean barbecue. They black owned? No. Oh, well, no. The Korean owned. Are they black Koreans? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> say it's Black History Month, so um, they black home, we need to shout them out. No, I'm sorry. That's why I didn't say the name. Oh, for real? Okay, that's good. Well, we like white people. I don't want to own, I don't want to. Um, the white side doesn't like white people. What? I'm talking about name of the restaurant. Oh, my bad. I don't know what you talking about. Okay, that's cool. Anyhow, uh, we got Chaz and we got Jazzo in the building, you know what I'm saying? How y'all doing today? I'm great. How are you? I'm good. good. That's it. Simple and plain, straight to the point. I'm alive. Alive. <laughs> and any day on this side of Earth is always better than the other side. You know what I'm saying? But um, since we still, we ain't, we ain't all the way out of Black History Month yet. You know what I'm saying? I was talking to my moms earlier today. And I don't know if any of you guys knew this, but I felt like she hit me with a little interesting fun fact. What? That uh, back in the uh, days, um, slaves would corn roll like certain designs in people's hair no, to man. help lead them to freedom and yeah. like. That's the origin of corn rolls. I didn't know that. Oh yeah. I yeah. thought that was pretty dope. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I knew that. Because I was rocking my corn rolls. I was thugging. It was you was waiting for an actual fashion statement. No, I was thugging. Oh okay. You know what I'm saying? This is my young days. You know what I'm saying? My, it just led me to the streets. That was my map to the streets. I was out here doing but did, my thing. But then you have like straight back, so like. Yeah, straight to the streets. Okay, never mind. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> 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 yeah, no design, so it's yeah. like. Mm. No, straight to the streets. You know okay. what I'm saying? Had me out here in these streets. You know what I'm okay. saying? Thinking I was a little thug, got spelled from campus and all that good stuff. But you know, I made it back. I did get my. I mean, it was kind of worse that it was like you got expelled like in a hot, like in, 
like not grade school. Like you know better. Now I gotta spell it college. I, that's right. You know what I'm saying? Cause I that was wasn't grade was school. Thug, man. But you were supposed to do that when you was in grade school. I ain't never get, I just got put in ISS a lot. I lived in ISS. They became fun though. But you know what made me stop getting it? Yeah. You never been in ISS? ISS? Me either. Bro. Oh. I'm I never tough. got in trouble. Me either. I got you put in got shit. Caught. I just got put no. in shit. You got caught. I never did anything. I never got in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> I never got caught. Either. I got caught in between other people's shit, and I won't and get it. And then somebody did tell on me since I never got in trouble. Teachers won't believe it anyway, so I got Dang. sent to ICE one time, and they sent me back to class. Well, I wish I had your. ICE, it, was, it became fun when it was like certain people in there for the day. What you mean? It's no fun. You said, well, in ISS, were in Plymouth ISS. You were in a cubicle. That's it. You couldn't look to your left, your right. You was I mean, in the cubicle doing work. We was in a room, so I mean, all I had to do was step, put my chair back, and I could see the person beside me. So you and I is getting in trouble. No, we, I mean, it depends on what teacher was there that day, who was in ISS, because if it was nobody fun, I ain't got nothing to say. But don't let the person I got in trouble with be in there, too. Oh, yeah, That's but, how y'all did in Raleigh. That's how I did in Carnage. It's personal. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> well, I was at ISS in Carnage. Uh, oh, you was in ISS in middle school? Yeah, I didn't definitely yeah. do it in high school. It was only middle school. What was you doing in middle school? Don't See, worry about you was on different teams. So yeah, don't worry about it. I didn't know you got in trouble in middle school. I did. Of yeah. course. And why I never got in trouble shine through. <laughs> Whatever. Yeah, I mean. Nah, it was awesome. Mm. Whoa. No, not nothing like that. I ain't saying nothing. You, you, you grew up over here, you know how not to get in trouble in school. I wasn't like per se doing something. I would be like in the middle of it. Like the teacher come and I'm there. Like he's been in the wrong place at the wrong time. I'm like, and then I try to like help explain like what was happening. Then it was like, oh, so you're involved? I'm like, no, no, like, it just, that's how it happened. So you just made yourself guilty. I would have been shocked as a teacher. <gasps> what do you guys do? Uh-uh, no. Uh-huh. You know, my name was, you know, I didn't get in trouble, but my name was, you know, called a lot. Your name was in the No, I was called a lot by teacher. Caught by a teacher. Called. Oh, called a lot by the yeah, teacher. Yeah, like my teacher knew who I was. You know how you just kind of blend in when you don't really say nothing? No, they know my name. I had a lot of questions. I can see that. Yeah, a lot I of questions. I can definitely see that. My I life changed as far as me stop going to ISS show because they was the last people to eat lunch. I couldn't take that. I feel like we was first because we had to help set up. No, we was last. We got punished. We had to wait till everybody else ate. Nigga, I was so Ooh. hungry. You know what, Chad? I take that back. I definitely was ice in high school. I remember. Yeah. See. So you didn't follow your ancestors' maps when they was put in the cornrows. Mm-hmm. Let's talk about the cornrows. You told me I was in the house. I ain't had cornrows. We had to have my hair curled. That's the cornrows. <laughs> I <ain't> had those. <laughs> <Mm-mm. laughs> now, so in cornrows is different. It is. Because <laughs> I'm straight back. <laughs> ain't no design. Yeah. Yeah, man. Anyway, man, like I said, welcome to Will University, man. We talk about all type of crazy stuff, you know what I'm saying? But uh, I did tell my homegirl, Jazzo, what? that uh, I wanted to personally. Did you want to go ahead on top off? Because I know you, 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 went a little, you went a little deep. You read it? I did. <laughs> Anyhow, I told my homegirl, Jazzo, you know what I'm saying? I wanted to talk to her about, you know what I'm saying, some things that she had been doing. Like, I don't know if she noticed it or not. But I seen some things on your social media. What did I do? Ooh, uh, hashtag Jazz on another hashtag, but she's gonna tell you at the end. Oh yeah, for sure, for sure. But anyway though, not nah, though for real, for real, man. Um, I seen some that you was doing. Me, I am what I could well I consider myself a sapiosexual. Mm-hmm. Um, so I'm very intrigued by the mind. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And uh, when I discovered or seen on your social media that you had been involved in life coaching. I was like, this is a great conversation to have with you in the room, you on the show, so we can talk about some things, you know what I'm saying? I had a couple of questions for myself, and I just wanted to get everybody input about some of the things that we can talk about, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, we have an audience, you know what I'm saying, they're going to listen to this, and perhaps we can say something that, you know, maybe inspire somebody, maybe change somebody's life, and, you know, change it for the good, you know what I'm saying? So comfortable with that. I know it took you for a little left because you was like, what you talking about? I right. said, I'm not going to tell you. In that exact voice. Yeah, in, 
in that exact yeah. voice, for okay, sure, for sure. Don't come to my voice. <laughs> Y'all are not going to come to my voice tonight. Yeah, um, I mean, but, but yes, I am comfortable. For sure, for sure. You know what I'm saying? Well, my first question, though, when I seen it, I was like, yo, like, what would, what, I guess, intrigued you by just the idea of engaging in something of that matter? Because I've never talked to a life coach mm. before. You know what I'm saying? Um, going through many years of mental health problems and going to therapy and all of that, kind of opened my eyes a little bit. My last therapist was amazing before he left and moved away. Um, he was absolutely amazing. He opened my mind a lot. And he always, when I would call him, he'd be like, verify the facts. And I'd be like, mm. what? He'd be like, verify Hold the on. facts of your feelings. Yeah, I like the sound of that. Verify the facts. Yeah. Because yeah, I mean, yeah. I'd be like, I'm scared. Dig like, into that though. Like, yeah. how do you like? What steps do you take to like verify the facts? You know what I'm saying? Like, I think that's a broad statement, but it's it you is. know, yeah. it digs deep. It makes you mm -hmm. dig deep in your thoughts and your right. emotions when you have to get into that aspect of your mind. Right. You have to kind of pause first of all. Yeah. Like, okay, you have to think about what situation you're in. I'm scared. I'm telling him I'm afraid because I'm having you know, thoughts of someone outside of my door because of past trauma. He was just like, what's the, re you know, what's the likelihood that someone's outside of your door right now from your past? How many years ago did this happen? He was asking me all these questions, and I'm just like, oh, mm. I'm scared for nothing. Well, not for nothing, but, you know, for nothing. Yeah. What am I scared of so you five, six years later? Mm. Mm. So you're, re you're four recreating times. the emotion yeah. in your mind from the past. Okay. Right. That's interesting, man. Like, I don't know, like, have you ever had something from your past that kind of, like, you feel like mm -hmm. kind of crept into your present state of mind, make you feel some type of way, like, currently? Not currently. Um, no. Mm -mm. I think maybe when I was, like, I'd say maybe, like, four years ago, maybe, it might have been something like that. Like, when you do that transition from, like, from me transitioning from, like, young, like, you're not really established, you're not really working, you just have a job, like, you're not in something you love to do, and then you move and transition to something, you know, that you're doing. You have a little fear, so sometimes that might have came up then, but I'm, I think I'm good now. Yeah, I don't know, and like, listening to you explain yourself is that I was listening, but I was thinking at the same time, and I was, I guess, trying to figure out if I have that, or that if I suffer from that or whatever, I'm not sure if I necessarily do. But I do realize that in certain situations, I have this expectation of the worst thing happening. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, I literally, I remember one day I was at work and my manager called me and was like, where are you at? And I was like, why? Because I'm like, what, you about to come and take me off the truck or something? Like, yo, you know what I'm saying? Like, what you need to know where I'm at for? Mm -hmm. And he was like, oh, I need to uh, bring you some paper, extra paper, I need you to pick up five extra cans. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, oh, I bet. You yeah, I mean, real quick. I did. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. I'm, I mean, this ain't my proudest accomplishment, but I think I've been fired from about every job I've had. <laughs> <laughs> now that I'm thinking about it, like, I know at least. Well, let's call the world's book of records. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm okay, so the, mm, no, uh, not every single hey, one. Hey, every job. But a situation that you, it was like you had to leave. It wasn't like. Yeah, I mean, but fired. it's just unfortunate. You know, some of, I'm, a lot of it ain't my fault. And I'm, I accept responsibility for my own actions. You know what I'm saying? But to be fired from a job yeah. because a supervisor and a supervisor are smashing the same guy. And I didn't fire the other supervisor. Mm -hmm. So my supervisor fired me. It's my supervisor. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they were black. Just want to put that out there as well. It's yeah, always it's so us. Hard sometimes. Huh? Yeah. I mean, it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? But crabs that was in the bucket. A, um, <laughs> crabs in the bucket. I'm yeah. telling you, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. Like, so I've been fired for some crazy stuff. You know what I'm saying? Got fired for not being gay. Like, yeah, that supervisor. Bad. He wanted the bonds. I get him a little cute little crab thing, but I ain't gay though. It was yeah. Real life situation, right, real bro. Life stuff, though. Real life situation, bro. Had a supervisor. <laughs> Dude was like.
like yeah. six five. He wanted me. He fired you because you. I mean, I mean, I mean, you didn't want to entertain him. Yeah, because I. But in North Carolina, we don't right. have to have a reason. I didn't. Oh, you I didn't. didn't. That, I didn't That's want. a reason to get a lawsuit. It's called yeah. sexual harassment. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. You should, oh, you it, think it, about it was it. reported, but it was discarded, bro. I don't know. That's what you report outside of your employee, bro. Right. I need to, that's real too. Looking back on that situation, I'd be like, man, I should have pushed the issue. Hey, but I tell you, bro, I was making. Man. I don't understand, dog, how I was even surviving because this was barely over a decade ago. I was bringing home five hundred fifty dollars every two weeks, and I had a one bedroom apartment. That's just the way. Places used to be. You might could have made it that, but yeah, man. I mean, but I'm talking about I was living my best life. I used to smoke weed in all the time, bro. Mm. Bottles of liquor on deck, on the party scene, <laughs> living it up. <laughs> <laughs> Pay they come, I be eating who's and loose. I was smoking that bed. Five fifty. It's all right. That's yeah, we we'll started. Cause that's like, way. Right. Don't be. Don't forget where you don't came shit from. Don't you start. Okay, you are. Right. We should know where you came from. You Everybody right. started in the upgraded to the to the big boy shit. I don't want to talk about me. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to talk about me. Yeah, I mean, but anyway though, uh, back to Jazz. You see that distractions, distractions. You know what I'm saying? Be like that. You know what I mean? But now though, you know what I'm saying. Another thing I was just thinking. You know what I mean, like from your perspective, I was gonna ask you too. Um, what is a, I guess, a healthy mind look like to you? That's why I said to you, oh, okay. you know what I'm saying? I can't answer what the hell like like, you know what I'm saying? Like That's not a general question, you know what I'm saying? One that can quickly recover. Because your thoughts are always going to be there. Mm-hmm. It's how you recover from them, how quickly you 